right, Taurus. What's up? Welcome to the sanctuary. It's your girl, Ray of Light. If you are new here, I welcome you. And if you are a supporter, I appreciate you. Thank you for your likes, your shares, your subscriptions, your comments, your love, your donations. Just thank you. We're going to dive right into your monthly message for the month of September, Taurus. I can honestly say I feel like I'm stepping into some intensity and my root chakra is feeling very wacky. Like everything just went sideways. I, had, I started singing <laughs> the nursery rhyme. I think I've been singing a few nursery rhymes today. But row, row, row your bo boat gently down the stream. I started singing that, but at first I had said everything isn't what it seems. I said that first, and every time I cl close my eyes, I see a blue circle. So you might be working with the energy of speaking your truth or saying something or a message coming through or um, a throat chakra activation, but your root chakra is it's no feel so good. It no feel so good. It, it don't feel so good. So yeah. Sending blessings your way. I can honestly say you're the last of the earth signs today. And your energy is is a, is very different. Okay? So um, you might be coming into more balance, okay? Let's see what September has to offer you. Spirit, ancestors, my guides, thank you so much for guiding me through this reading with the intention of clarity, confirmation, and guidance. Ancestor card, ancestor number 33 definitely just popped out. What does Taurus need to know at this time? Virgo have this card as well. Mm. We're going to be working with these two. So, we have chaos and conflict here. Chaos and conflict here. We have chop wood. And we have no place like home. Okay. No place like home. I hate the glare that happens with this thing. No place like home. I definitely feel the chaos and conflict. And it is happening in terms of stability. That's why the root chakra is so off. It's a very intense time for you making some very um, major decisions. The core of you is being challenged. definitely possibly contemplating who you are what way to go what route to take um could just just be in this space of just in the void just in between and it's a possibility that it is like i said it is just shattered of the foundation um i'm being told to read the protection message of this card so let's see Let's see, Taurus. What are the hungry ones experiencing disarray, being at cross purposes with another, the tension of opposites, the value of chaos before order? 
this is an advantageous moment to restore order and recognize the opportunity for negotiation even in the seeming chaos there is a kind of divine order a complete resorting of elements this is powerful if your intention is to find the best solution for the highest good of all there's positive news the timing is perfect things are already stirred up so don't be afraid to jump into the mix um you'll discover everything you need to know about how the situation affects you long, long term be present in the eye of chaos this moment is valuable don't waste it okay it's a lot with y'all right now toys i know well jupiter she start playing with her toys she, she got a little chaotic um chop wood you got some work to put in let's let's see we gotta we gotta we gotta thin some of this energy out chop wood <laughs> are you an armchair astronaut <laughs> life is but a dream things aren't what they seem bless do you dream of wealth and fame big ideas inventions or desires with a capital d life is but a dream wow the appearance of this card is a sign that you might be devoting far too much time to dreaming and talking about your dreams you have to get out of the chair to make things happen you actually do have something to do you actually do have to do something start with a small task remember the big dream becomes reality only after you have begun to take incremental steps. Mythologist Joseph Campbell once said, take one step towards the gods and they will take 10 steps towards you. Talking about it, you ain't being about it. That's why your root chakra is wacky. It's crazy. I'm like, this doesn't feel good. This doesn't feel good, Taurus, in terms of how it's feeling in my body. I feel like I hadn't felt, I feel conflicted in the lower region of myself right now. It's time to do something. Life is but a dream. Marinette, yeah, it's not supporting you. Because the for, for me to be singing that, and I'm singing life isn't what it seems and then life is but a dream they're going to conflict right there so i know your root chakra chaotic now that we have put two together like that's the conflict it's not what it seems because what your outside existence is showing you is not what it it seems in this dream world that you in because you you ain't doing nothing and in all honesty a Taurus that's not putting in that action, that's not making any type of move towards cultivating a life of fruits to eat. It's definitely a, 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 a bull, a stubborn bull that doesn't feel at home. Because right now you're not in your skin, but you're getting there. So we're going, we're working through this chaos and conflict, this chop wood, okay? I'm told to pull a card from here. Patience. Because this card is like in, is going to go in between this. This is how I see. So we have patience. You are able to let the universal energy of transformation move according to its own loving rhythm. Okay? The energy of patience. It's not that you're lacking it. I feel as if you didn't know this is what you needed to invoke to actually bring some reality to your mix, to, to get you over the bridge. Because you're going through a very, this is a very transfer, transformative time and you were told don't waste it, it's valuable. And within this card, as you can see, the belly of this Baby, this is a giraffe, a horse, and a zebra mixed together. In the core of it, the core of you. It's intertwined with... I'm not trying to mug, but it's just giving me like... I 
okay? Ownership. You acknowledge your misdeeds and accomplishments alike and learn to love them all as lessons, okay? All right. Let's get one more. And this is this is just some stuff you needed to know because they're just flying out. You need to activate patience and ownership and individuality. Came out in reverse. Also came out under no place like home. And once I read no place like home, you will understand why. In the val individuality, you leave your unique stamp of love on everything you do. So we got ownership up under chop wood here. Okay, you got to own the fact that you have misstepped. See, see beyond that and acknowledge the accomplishments as well and learn to let the lessons that's in the mix, okay? And we got patience here. This is a time to be patient with this um, detaching from all these parts of self that are causing a clusterfuck inside of you because your root chakra is wacky. I'm going to keep saying it because I didn't like, I don't appreciate feeling it. I didn't deserve that. And so these are activations that need to go on within the framework of all that's happening right here. Okay. So the chaos and conflict that's happening within you on a core level is going to require an activation of patience. Okay. You are able to let the universal energy get you some Reiki done. Tap into one of them Reiki candles that they be doing for the collective, okay? You are able to let the universal energy of transformation move according to its own loving rhythm. You got to let it pass through you because obviously everything is getting stuck from here to here. Because it's not grounding through the root. That's why the root chakra is wacky. That's why your stability is off. That's why you is in la 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 and merely merely life is but a dream but it ain't what it seems. It makes a lot of sense. It does. But you got to take ownership here. You got to take ownership of the fact that we have stumbled. We fall down and we get up. We fall down and we get up. Okay? Own it that you fell down. For a saint, it's just the sinner who fell down. And this is the card that said when you take some steps towards the gods, the, when you take a single step towards the gods, the gods take 10 steps towards you. Own it. To chop the wood. Do something. You activated the energy of owning your shit. Loving the lessons, the blessings, the seasons and the reasons. The accomplishments and the what the fuck. It's okay, but you gotta chop wood, bitch. Sorry, you gotta move. Strut like you mean it. Free your mind. It's nothing else but to come on, come on, get up. Shit, now you got me singing a cheetah girls because I'm sitting here looking at a damn giraffe and zebra and horse baby. Taurus, this is a little too much. It's a little too much. Who are you? Are you going through an identity crisis? You're going. Are you going through that much of it? This is a value time. You are purging. You are. You are coming out new. You are coming out new. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Individuality. All right. All right. All right. I'm not rapping. Okay. Okay. Okay, this is some difficult energy, but we getting there. This is some difficult energy, but we getting there. All right, Taurus, what's at the core? What's at the center of your reading? Okay, we got it. Three cards, four cups. You pouting. This is on some, mm, mm, what is that? I, mm. Crossing you, the star, the star is challenging you. And you got the ace of wands that's at the root. Reverse, might I add. 
because you inactive on the opportunities that's being present. You not making no noise. You not. You you is not making no noise. You talking. Girl talking about the uh, 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 cause the girls are talking, the girls are talking. You probably talking shit. <laughs> that's why you the four cups now. But you the whole star quality. This I can see how this could be a challenge for you to embody with the lack of, you know, groundedness in the true self that's happening. But you're transforming, so I'm going to take it easy. I'm going to dial back because the star card is one of the most brightest and uplifting cards. And for this to be crossing you, it lets you know that you are in your own way. you in your own way. Because you talking about it and you dreaming big because you know you can do it, but you ain't doing it. you get here what was the past energy that got you here because this ain't that two cards double messages reversed nine of pentacles reverse nine of swords reverse what animal does that an animal that be like because that's what i want to do to y'all I'm, I'm all in this animal energy right now the nine of pentacles talks about in the past you've been, been, been afraid to spend money on yourself you're worrying that you're not worthy okay lack of unworthiness present here you may be undercharging meaning you ungrounded um uh, working for free who does that uh accepting a lower salary than you should and know that you are worthy and deserve to be wealthy in all facets so lack got you here I love reading the reversals in this bag, in this book, because sometimes the little card don't tell me enough. Because the nine of swords is just giving me your mind just been messed up. Just in a... T like I said, your mind just been messed up. Just in a turmoil, you know, as a result of your thoughts and mindset. It's, a, it's Welcome to the Mind of a Maniac by Boosie. It's playing in my head. Fear is stripping you of your life force. Get a reality check and evaluate which fears are warranted and which are not. Releasing your limiting beliefs, crippling fears, and self-doubt. Limiting beliefs, limiting beliefs, crippling fears, and self-doubt have got you all twisted. Got you twisted and intertwined. And you probably acting like four different people. It's definitely give me the energy of someone that could be... You could be a little wonky right now, like your root chakra. Wacky root chakra, wonky mind. I'm not being mean, I'm being honest. Because this is this is giving me the energy of constant self-inflicted pain, turmoil, as a result of a pattern that is deep within you at a core level that is continuously like boiling up and shaking your shit. And for some reason, you're kind of like used to your shit being shook. So, it's easier to daydream and life is better to dream, fantasize, and do all those things opposed to actually doing the work. And it's also easier to talk about it and be about it because then you actually don't have to do the work. So... What's the present energy? I hope presently Taurus is feeling okay, even though my root chakra says no, they not. They just, and this could be a very deeply internal thing. This is like on a soul level. You know, this is the part of you that don't know, that nobody knows that you're experiencing because outside looking in, you might just be committed to just working and making money making money doing stuff that don't make you happy you just lit you just you just existing 
with dreaming so big of a life that you know you worthy of but it's a part of you that is still stuck needing to it's needing to to what you, what you working with right now y'all keep giving me two of everything make it see make up your the four swords you're in a state of meditation state of mental retreat currently and i'm proud of you you have the seven of wands reversed here which is the energy of standing up for yourself now presently i can honestly say that this moon should really help you integrate like work with this moon cycle full moon in pisces you got three more days of it in its most potent state but um work with integrating this face of four of swords and the seven of wands so you can be in a meditative state when you know you need to be and you can stand your ground when you know you need to be and that could possibly be applied to you with you 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 talk to yourself more than anybody does you're gonna have to slay them inner dragons go to the full moon energy report in pisces to see how integration with this venus in opposition to saturn relationships love money all of that is opposed to the the energy of restriction and limitations in saturn this moon is the perfect time to integrate this meditation as well as standing up for self like you know energy that you're in because the seven of wands reverse this is still you know what i'm saying don't 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 you know this is giving me the meditative energy maybe you're just meditating to check out because life is but a dream in 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 your in the other realms that you can frequent in it's more bliss there but don't check out okay it's giving me the energy of checking out so you don't have to stand stand your ground here that sound about right it's okay you're gonna be it's okay you're gonna get through it because what's happening in the near future you're not saying it's okay you're gonna be able to get through it because the empress is here you're going to integrate this energy you're you're going to value this moment of internal conflict because this is going to be your last time saying this your last time. You going to love yourself. You going to create harmony within. You going to become fruitful and abundant as a state of mind, as a state of being for the livelihood of actualizing your full potential. And so more to be, and so it is. I say, I say, I say, Taurus, Taurus. That's the only card that came out as one. Everything else is double, 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 double. But you're clear on who you know yourself to truly be. You are. The star is here. The star and the empress. You know who you are, but you don't know that version of yourself enough. Okay. This is like getting to know and, and be one with the truth of who you are and stop being so outside of yourself. But you got to grind yourself and you got to see yourself through this lesson or it's, it's, it's going to keep tripping you up because you keep getting cagged. You've probably been tripping a lot on shit too. I just see folks stumbling. You probably have. You probably done failed. Just like I'm clumsy because your root chakra is your vital life force energy center your root chakra fucked up everything else is kind of wonky and wacky your mind it, your your root chakra wacky your mind wonky and then if that ain't the root chakra and the damn crown chakra that ain't got nothing in between but the core you kind of get it trying to get it together i don't know what it is mm, bless you bless you bless you bless you to your tourist friends because they is finna step into a step into a new a new form they finna shed some thick ass skin currently your power is in the hermit mode you will receive much love harmony and um what i'm hearing satisfaction with being with yourself 
in an observant, a very observant, be gentle with yourself. It's all about the journey, not the destination. Hermit mode serves you. Spirit is going to guide you. All the answers truly are within, but don't run from it. The only way to is through. Hermit mode is the, is, is, is the energy that is best fitting for you at this time. How do you look around? How do you how are people viewing you at this time? What do you look like to other people? What do you look like to other people? Can you go with all these damn cards again? The moon, you're looking mysterious. Seven of Cups. You're looking like you don't know when if you're gum coming or gum. <laughs> going or coming. You might have strong Pisces energy in your chart. The page of wands. You looking like somebody that wanna make some moves and you not. You're looking like somebody that, that has potential. But you also are looking very like, eh? Eh? You're looking confused. You're looking mysterious, confused, and like she got potential to do what she thinks she's supposed to be doing, but she ain't really doing it. She ain't there yet. It's like she's just playing around, dibbling and dabbling and shit. Like I said, you could be picking up multiple identities of self, could be going through imposter syndrome heavily. This is the energy of imposter syndrome. This is what happens when the old self is not necessarily relatable. The middle self is just kind of like, uh, I'm, I'm knowing better and I'm trying to do better, but I'm kind of paralyzed due to the fact that the self that's trying to present itself to me, I don't know. So that's how you end up as your middle self that learned, that knows some stuff about your past and the middle self that knows some stuff about what you should be doing, but you haven't developed a relationship with what you should be doing, which is your, your, your new full self. You haven't stepped into the energy of relationship with your full self. So therefore, you still bringing on the energy of your past self and everything is in the middle ground. That's why you a zebra, a giraffe, and a horse. And life is but a dream. It's, it's, that's why you're looking like the Seven of Cups. Because you, you're just out there. You know? Letting life happen to you. It's a shame, but you're going to get through it. We're going to come out of this. We're going to come out of this. What's in your fears? What are you truly fearing at this time, Taurus? Five of Cups. Five cups. Mm. You're fearing that you're gonna be disappointed. You're fearing that you're not you're not gonna have enough. You're fearing it's your perspective. Five of cups always gives me the energy of perspective is power. Because what you find to your fine tune your energy and emotions to is what will be. Now, if your energy and emotions is fine-tuned toward all this darkness and turmoil, whether people know it or not, your life is going to display that. Because what you emote and the frequency you vibrate at is the way in which you will create life. As within, so without. Okay? And so, Five of Cups always gives me this energy of like, I'd rather find you myself to the stuff that has gone fucked up, that keeps going wrong, and da-da-da-da, opposed to seeing these two cups over here that I can double up and flip <laughs> you know what i'm saying and this could be you know also the energy of like you don't want to be emotionally unfulfilled or like i say just disappointed with making these moves or um you just fear making the wrong move that could possibly lead to even more disappointment and dissatisfaction okay so what are you hoping for ten of swords you hoping this shit is over you hoping that you really can come out of this. And I'm hearing it ain't over till God says it's over. Is that one of them Kier Sherrods and Shepherds people? It ain't over till God says it's over. I don't know. I might be making it up. But the Ten of Swords is in your hope. And it's reverse. So you're hoping that you are at the end of this cycle, at the end of this 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 mental anguish and pain that this is the end of heartbreak hotel you say you be here by night or it's like your time something this is the heartbreak hotel you over that you tired of that you tired of breaking your own heart for real 
because you really already know it be you that makes these low vibrational decisions that choose to talk about these things and think about these things that don't serve you and actually just keep you in a state of depression you tired of you tired of not being your own best friend and you know you need to be your own best friend in order to integrate that middle self to that higher self you know you need to be your own best friend because the energy of love and self-love magnifies the magic in manifestation so you know you need to be your own best friend you just ain't really fucking with you like that and you really hope that you can start fucking with you like that i cuss a lot with y'all i was trying to do better i was doing a lot better but y'all just be meeting it was so what's the outcome sipping on gin and juice Lay back with my mind on my money and my money on the mind. Rolling down the street, sipping in the sipping on gin and juice. Oh, oh, <sighs> strength, strength. You tap into that inner strength you pull yourself up I, every time i think about the strength i think about a lion just a lion card or just that energy of yimmy ya and like oh i'm gonna get through it i'm gonna pull myself i'm gonna get through this i got this i can do this <sighs> and it's the kind that come from the pit of your ass not that not actually be a pussy and i'm gonna say be a pussy in terms of this outcome of strength because only a vagina can take the poundings that it takes can bleed out the way it bleeds out and still produce life of abundance prosperity and every bit of magic alchemy and energy and entity on this freaking planet can come out of it be a pussy meow Step into that strength because why did my elbow just start itching? Oh, you probably gonna throw some bows with some bitches or something. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. You got to put your elbow in it. You can do it. Put your back into it. You can do it. Put your back into it. You can do it. You can do it. You're gonna have to just put a little elbow grease in it and bulldoze your way through there because clearly. It's gonna take some of that. Because your individuality is what you are activating. That strength is gonna get you into some actualization of that star of that empress you leave your unique stamp of love on everything you do moving forward and you Find home within your own skin. That is your last message. There's no place like home because you have to create heaven on earth within your authentic self, your authentic expression. Like I said, you may have some Virgo on your chart. If you do, if you are Virgo rising or Virgo sun, I uh, definitely advise you to, wow, do something new. And we're going to read the protect and protection message and get y'all up out of here. So there are times when what is familiar and known is not the best choice. Human beings are memory driven creatures and we all look for certainty for what we know, even if the qualities we seek in other people and in external conditions are expressed in, in unhealthy ways. Trauma bonding. Avoid being too eager to find home. Choose something unfamiliar, that integration with your true self, the star, star consciousness, Choose something unfamiliar and trust that there you will find a new normal that supports your spirit. Remember, if you do what you did, you'll get what you got. Do the opposite of what feels right, even if it's uncomfortable. Because what feels right is really what feels familiar. And you will attract and be drawn to the very things you don't want anymore. This time will not be different unless you do you chop wood, you own your shit, and you do something different. My Taurus, kick ass during the month of September. I love to see it. 
If you enjoyed this message and it was resonating with you, go ahead and leave me three brown, three brown hearts in the comment section. And as always, thank y'all for keeping it real with me because y'all energy was real wonky and wacky. But September shall be a beautiful blessing to you. I can't wait to see the individuality in you home, in your true skin. Until next time.